Welcome to episode 16 of uh, On Air. Today we are doing an episode previously in air where we're visiting our previous artists in residence and get an update on what they've been doing, where uh, they're go bleh, sorry, where they're going with their work, um, seeing their studio, and just doing a general catch up. So please, if you have questions for our, our guests today, uh, Leo, Danielle, Leo and Danielle, let us know, put them in the Q&A so that we can make sure to ask them. Before I jump over to them, I would like to do our community shout out. If you want something delicious, the Peruvian restaurant Quero in Encinitas is a bit available for takeouts. They uh, get their ingredients locally as well as fine, uh, imports from uh, Peru. And Victor will share with you their, um, their website. You can order online for a uh, pickup. Now I would like to go over to Leo and Danielle, Chacho and Giannone. Thank you so much guys for joining us. Um, you were with us just when all of this craziness happened. So it's really nice to get to touch base with you guys again and see you know, what you've been up to and kind of get a good, nice little celebration going today and getting to see your own studio. So I wanna pass it over to you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Yusha yeah. and Lax Art Institute to, to do that. Because now we are talking from Buenos Aires. We are in our studio in, in Argentina. After, uh, I think it's 49 days that we leave uh, the residency to, to come into Buenos Aires. Yes. How Is it Oh. We, we live, uh, for, for the people who don't know, uh, we live and work in Buenos Aires, in, in Argentina and South America. Uh, here, is seven, here is 6 p.m. And at, at night, and uh, it's, it's autumn here, and uh, we, we can show our, our studio, uh, but it's not likely because it's night at night. Yeah. But first, we want to introduce you. Our baby <laughs> is Violin. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> because he's the king of the house. And uh, now, if you want, we can show you a uh, little bit of tour around the, the studio and the house. Um, here, we can show you the the work that we are keep working at Lux, and we finish the, while the the quarantine at Buenos Aires. We we try to finish the the embroidery. Here you can you can see the old pink that we did in Lux. Some people that we visit the exhibition. I hope that remember this one and this now is finished. The idea in this project is we work with the, this draw and the, it's the same draw and the in different pieces change the color, but the, the, the process is the same, the same idea. Okay, now this is the our material that we are working. This is the thread. This is we have all kinds of material in this uh, furniture, and we can find different uh, different brand and different color. Is all the is all the order for the different color. And here is the table that we are working the all day and the light. Here is the, the new one that 
we are change the color gold and yellow. This is the old material. And we spend all day here working and working and working. Um, this is this is another project we are working with painting with different material uh, uh, on paper. It's painting on paper. One material is for print on fabric in the in the future. No, the technique is uh, is uh, uh, sublimation. We work with different kinds of the the paint. Uh, painting is for sublimation and different color, and and then we need to paint on paper and then put, for example, this case, and then you print on fabric with iron it, finally. So you guys are getting back into painting and printmaking. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But the technique, the name is to make the iron. You need to use, you need to use this kind of the big professional iron. Yeah, but I get cut. Maybe. You put the here, the fabric and the, one moment, the fabric and then the painting. And you need to iron it finally. So we use a, a, a lot process of the printing and embroidery, uh, sewing, as we, we use in, in the residency, that this is the project that we are keeping working. And the patchwork, you know, do you remember? The, the fabric that the people donate to the residency and we, we keep some fabric that we bring to Buenos Aires to, to still working in this project. Um, that when we arrived to Buenos Aires, I think we spent two or three days to relax and then we keep working. And this is the new one that, do you remember the, the work that we did in LAX that mm -hmm. say Latinx? Yes. So we keep this, I, working with this idea with this idea about uh, the war and the quilt. So for that, we, we did this one, this big quilt. Sorry. It's beautiful. Uh, thank you. And we are keeping working in this this one. This is the the flag that we did while this quarantine, and we are keep working uh, in this in this project. Will this also be part of uh, the community engagement and having people write their own messages on these flags as well? Or uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened with that in the next future, because I don't know if we can work in the in community and we are engaged closely with, with the people. So for that, now we are just working here, very uh, intimate work. Mm -hmm. Now, in this moment, we are participating in the biennial of Brazil in Brazil, in Porto Alegre. Uh, and we can show you the process of the work. And this is, is the memories about the, we can build the big embroidery. It's a big embroidery. You can, you can find here all the process with, with different stitch, a different code, different thread. In the, different part of the of the big embroidery, you know? In this case, one monkey, like a jewelry. 
Chris, Teddy. Uh, this is similar that the, the drawing that we show at Lax, the is Selva de Constantin, the, 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 the big embroidery. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. the big one, the other one. And this is the process that we are, I don't know if we can, you can see the, the, here, the, the drawing and the name of the stitch, stitch and number. Uh, this process is absolutely stunning. I always love being able to see, you know, your thought process behind your incredibly detailed embroidery work. So these these drawings are little art pieces on their own. Uh, thank you. Thank you. This is the, the other one. So has a lot changed for you guys now that you're in quarantine? Because uh, we were talking, Victor and I were talking earlier, and he was saying your studio has always been at home. Has yeah. it? Has your experience changed now that you're in quarantine with your studio still being at home? Yeah, it's not too much a difference uh, because we 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 love work in our home, and we have a run or so run then as our all tool and material so the the only difference is the relationship with our friends or, or family that we can going to visit and we don't receive visiting here in in our home mm -hmm. so then not too much change but change the um, the the project in the future because we have a uh, exhibition in Brazil, as Daniel say, in the Biennale, and we, the project is was working with the community, and now it's postponed. And then we have an exhibition in France and the Transpalette, um, in Canada too for the Biennale. So this is this uh, project and exhibition change. I don't know what happened in the world in the next month. But for the moment, in in a very intimate world in our home, they mostly keep in the same way. Well, and we saw that you have been incredibly busy making face masks as well. Mm -hmm. Our studio is in one all built in the middle of the city. It's a just uh, we we can show the we can show our street because but it's night in now uh, here in Buenos Aires and we can for example this moment you can see on the on the street all the people uh, on the line for go to the supermarket for the buy because you need to uh, go to the supermarket for to buy only walking it's not possible to use the car and the people have distance for to enter, it's possible to enter only 10 people of the, uh, at a time. Do you understand? Yeah. So this is uh, the, the, now we are, you are see the, the downtown in Buenos Aires. This is downtown Buenos Aires. But this is empty. It's empty. Saturday. And we, in this corner, you can see the, the church, one of the most uh, old church here in Buenos Aires. And we, live very, and we live in a very old uh, building in the city. The line for to enter the supermarket is one block. Wow. Yes, yeah. one block is only 10, 10 people at time, at the moment. Yeah. Now we're back, we're back to the studio. And that week, you can see we have a lot Thing, a lot of stuff in here in, in our studio, a lot of books. We love the books, pencil, you know, a lot of material to work. So for that we 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 can still work in, in our studio and we don't need to go in to the store or to buy something. Yeah, your supplies are amazing. I love how they're organized. I feel like um, yeah, we, almost we, like a yeah. store. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we need to do a uh, very net space. And uh, here, sorry. This is our Kokeshi collection. collection. We love Kokeshi from Japan. It's our collection. It's original Kokeshi. Is this is the one. <laughs> Look, the brush. The brush. Antique. This is, uh, this is a version of Piolin by Jorge Gumior Mayer, an Argentinian artist. Mm -hmm. um, it's art brut, like an art brut. So, uh, he has more fabrics. We love fabrics. We love the furniture, the old furniture. Uh, here is more fabric. And uh, this uh, porcelain we bring to Shanghai in, when we did uh, our residency in, in Suachar Arpiz Hotel. And the four of them we share our life all the time. This is a porcelain. So now yeah. you can you can uh, we can show you the it's the, the big painting is was the probably fifty years ago when Leo and me uh, participated in one exhibition in, in Buenos Aires. The, it's a painting that with glitter with glitter and draw with color pencil. And this is the porcelain, this is porcelain and this is ceramic. Below the two different processes. This was in the, uh, 2003. We did uh, participate in this exhi one exhibition with porcelain. And Leo and me, Leo and me, like, um, like a samurai, uh, um, it's all porcelain with gold and different, different paintings. And this another, you can... In this moment, we work with different, uh, imagine like a Japanese um, uh, theater kabuki, imagine it's all painting for us. And it's totally different at this project. In this project, we work with ceramic. And with the series has, the have, 15 different uh, model of the the ceramic and we we did the ceramic and and then decoration with different pattern of the modernity and here we use the the inspiration from Sonia Delaunay and the pattern on the fabric here on Sonia Delaunay um, and here this is the, our grand grand daughter, no daughter, grandson. Sí, daughter. And daughter. This she is she is elaborado, and, and here. And she is. <laughs> she's teacher. She's teacher. She's the teacher. wife of Piolin. She's teacher. So, uh, uh, do you remember? We we love the garland. Do you remember Claudia? <laughs> For the party that Claudia this did. Was, it, this was one gift of the one docent in the Lux Art Institute. I used some time. And now we want to show you the this space is our patio. And here we spend a lot of time to drawing, painting, um, take a lunch, breakfast. This is our space. Uh, in the house. And our little barbecue. So when we want to take sun, we can we can take here. This is the patio. This is a we are very lucky man that we are living here because in Buenos Aires it's so hard to find a place like this. No, a place with a a green place, a, a garden in the middle of the, the middle of downtown. So yeah, it's gorgeous, and the tall ceilings is beautiful. So this is a yeah, courtyard. Is, yeah, and this is a very old building. It's a, the the building is in an historical historical building. Is the first one in in the city.
you know, we are surrounded in the nature and the animal is as our painting and embroideries and drawing. And this is our place. Uh, inspiration right there. Yeah. For that, we, we love to live in, in Buenos Aires. We, we love to live in our house. It's, it's, the quarantine for us is not a big deal. For them, because we 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 spend a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. We back to the studio. Yeah, here is Piolin, <laughs> <laughs> and we are here now. We are back. Uh, thank you guys so much. What a beautiful space you have. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. So um, I want to encourage our uh, guests to ask questions too. Uh, also for you, Victor, if you have any questions. I would like to start with asking if your work has, uh, the themes of your work have changed at all through uh, this pandemic. Like, are you guys considering those themes within your work or are you still kind of thinking about the other themes that uh, we had at Lux or that you're working with? Mm -hmm. um, no, not for the moment, because I, I think the time to the, the process, the creative process to the pandemic process is different. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what happened in the future with the new work that if we can see the, the pandemic time in the, the work. For example, the last year we present uh, a series of work and embroideries in our Basel called Refugio, Ref, re, uh, Refugee. Refugee. So we, uh, and the pieces that we present in the Biennale in Porto Alegre, the name is uh, A Place to Live. So we are in the mood of something to, to find it, but it's not our intention. Yeah, so, uh, it comes naturally to you after you've had yeah. some time to process what is actually happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In general, we uh, we work in one series for big time, more time, uh, or much time, and then uh, in general, uh, we don't work with one specific uh, moment we are living because. We we need to more time for to work in one series. Um, probably, probably in in one years we can we can understand why we did some some work. Uh, how was the result? The result. Uh, in generally, the artists work in this way, mm -hmm. uh, or will or we prefer working this way. No, no. Uh, we don't. Yeah, we don't like to work in the in the way of the pandemic time. Not this, this subject. Mm -hmm. We don't want to use this subject uh, for that because it's very sad in this moment for a lot of people. So for that, it's a respect and take calm with all, all this. But yeah. for example, the the one years ago when was one big problem in the Brazil. In the Amazona, Amazona, the Amazona forest was uh, burned in the same places. In some pl some places, sorry. And and in this moment, we, we in the same moment we are starting when when re series. The name is Refugio, Refugio, Refugio. When we, we we the question, our question was how will be success when the one all the forest on in the Amazona is barnet where is the people where the uh, where the birds and the animal has the possibility for to survive uh, no, uh, for to living and in this moment we work with the one the series refugee when we imagine one big uh, florero a uh, one base nice. base of for, for flowers and the the animal only have the possibility for to, the refugee one one like a bouquet like a bouquet yeah. one, okay, okay and this is the imagine we're working this moment and and then we have a problem where when 
where the, in, in this moment is one big question in the, the Amazon, the, how is the process for, where, how is the possibility for the animal surviving? And we, we keep this, working in this idea in Lux. Do you remember the, the, the work that we did with the Japanese fabric and, yes. and do a big bouquet of flower with animal on our head? So we, we keep with these ideas working. Yes, so it's really about things just coming very naturally, but also time or so your work is more in response later on as you've had time to consider what is happening and yeah, with, mm -hmm. with the fires and in the Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, we have another, an, an, another, another problem is the pandemic of COVID. No, it, uh, now the, not only we're thinking about the animals and, and vegetal only is for the problems for all the people, all the, all the world, no, the people. Probably, probably, I don't know. In the, in the, next, in the next year, we can show you the work when the pandemic situation was uh, uh, appear in our work. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll get some human bouquets. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Or oh, using one. Uh, Masks. Mask. Masks. For yeah. example, we are working now doing masks for our friends. We recuperate fabric and we, uh, we made uh, masks for, uh, for the people living in a, in the, on the street. In the, and when we are going to the supermarket, we give one for the people. When, because here now is, is one law, uh, we need to use uh, mask all the time yes. outside. Mm -hmm. um, it's very I'm very kidding, yes. yes, that's the that's the same here. And uh, I actually saw on your Instagram you were posting uh, the masks yeah. that you were making. Nick, yeah, we did. Beautiful. Yeah, for our friends. They're beautiful. They're a lot better looking than the ones we have. So. Yeah, different design. <laughs> yes, it's fun because we need to spend time to better life. Please. Yeah, I love it. It's so great. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, well, so guys, good. I want to thank you so much for sh showing us your studio. It's really nice to see, you know, where <laughs> all the work that we had at Lux was made and uh, get to see how your daily life is and your courtyard is gorgeous. And we finally got to meet your, you. your dogs, which are beautiful. And thank you, Yusha. Thank, thank you very you. much. And we want to say um, thank you for the, the chance to do the, 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 the exhibition and the residency in, in Lux, to meet a very lovely people there. And we, now we have a new friends and, and we want to say hello, we are fine because we leave the residency uh, a week uh, la uh, before, later? Early, no? yeah. Yeah, early, sorry. Um, yes, and the people that are very kind with us and the people that we donate fabric and spend time in lax to share the time and with the exhibition and the residency, we want to say thank you, a big, big thank you and you and the people, um, because we are we we felt the our life in in Encinitas as our home. So yeah. Thank you. We, we uh, the the resident was a very nice possibility for us. Very nice experience. Uh, we were so happy living in, in Encinitas and working with all the team of the Lux Art Institute. Thank you very much for all the team, the 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 director. Uh, um, the, the name, the, Andrew. Uh, Andrew, the director, Andrew, and all the you, Yusha, and all Claudia with all the, the team, all the all the people work, and inclusive the docent, the, the docent, mm -hmm. and the, all the community was very friendly with us. It was very important for work for us because we don't have uh, any problem. No, okay? well, you guys were absolutely wonderful to have in residence. Um, 
your warm personalities, just how sweet and welcoming you were, you were to everybody. I think, you know, the reason you guys had such a good experience is because you gave us such a good experience. Just, Thank you guys you. are yes. wonderful. And we, we really miss you, but we're happy you're safe back in Argentina, so. Okay, I hope we see you again, yeah. alive, <laughs> in Encinita. Or I don't know, the next year, I think when everything is okay, we we love to visit. We would love that. You. We, okay. we are keep keep in touch, and if you need something or the people of the community have question for us, we can send for us the question. No, in, we, in our Instagram, yeah. Facebook, or perfect. Yes, follow Leo and Daniel on Instagram, guys. They have yeah. a wonderful Instagram post all the time with updates, so it's really great to see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Have Thank a wonderful you evening. Very much. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.